I'm Anil Kumar and now let us look into a thinking question on arithmetic series. Given the sum of the arithmetic series as s of n equals to 2n square minus 3n where n belongs to set of natural numbers, find the expression for the general term. Now when we say general term it means t of n. We are given sn sum of n terms of this particular arithmetic series is 2n square minus 3n and what we need to find is t of n. Now s of n is related with tn by the relation that sn sum of n terms of a geometric series is equal to n over 2 times t1 plus tn. Now from here we can always find Tn, but what is T1? Well T1 is indeed equal to S of 1, S1, right? If, if there is only one term, the first term, then sum of the first term will be the number itself. So we can find T1 by substituting 1 in Sn, right? Sum of the arithmetic series for one term, that is the first term, right? So if I write 1, I get 2 times 1 square minus 3n. 3n is 1, correct? So let me write 3 times 1, which is 2 minus 3, which is minus 1. So first term is minus 1 for us. Now we can easily find what tn is. So that is the thinking part. So sn is 2n square minus 3n. So we can now write n over 2 is equal to or we can write on this side n over 2 which is sn t1 we found as minus 1 minus 1 plus tn is equal to the expression given to us as 2n square minus 3n now let's rearrange we'll multiply these terms by 2 divide by n so we get minus 1 plus tn equals to 2 over n times 2n square minus 3n or we can write tn as equal to let's take 1 on this side now so it becomes plus 1 right so it becomes 2 over n times 2n square minus 3n plus 1 so that is what tn is let's open this bracket and simplify Okay, it's 2 over n, I'm writing 3. So when I open this bracket, multiplying the first term by 2 over n, 2 times 2 is 4, n squared divided by n is n, so we get 4n, minus 2 times 3 is 6, n divided by n is 1. And then we have plus 1, right? So this gives us tn as equal to, let's write here, 4n minus 5, correct? So we get our answer that is tn is equal to 4n minus 5. So that is how it could be solved. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Thank you and all the best.